Is it crazy if I said Arian Knighton isn't the favorite for gold at the World Championships? As we all saw, Arian Knighton ran a time of 19.49 seconds in the 200 meters. That made him number four all time and the second fastest American in history, barely edging ahead of Lyles's 19.50. Now, Knighton was already one of the best in the world, having not only made the Olympic team, but also finishing fourth in that Tokyo Olympic final. What makes all his performances really significant though, is that he is only 18 years old, and he doesn't even turn 19 until January next year. So, of course, all his times were world junior records, and he is significantly faster than Bolt was at this point. Bolt progressed all through his career, leading up to his current world record of 19.19, .19, but he didn't even run 19.7 until he was 20 years old, let alone 17 and 18. So we're looking at greatness in Knighton, and I think some very special things are yet to come from here and into the next decade for him. But what does this mean for this season? Well, first off, I think this solidifies at least the American record being in play this year. And I honestly think it might happen at trials. What's crazy is, Lyles may not even run the 200 meters at trials. Remember, Noah Lyles has a wild card to the world championships. But what if I said Knighton may not even win the trials? Would that be too crazy as well? Well, I'm not predicting what will exactly happen at trials yet. I'll do that as we get closer to June. But the other guys in the mix, namely Bednarik and Curly, I think they are just as capable of being up there with Lyles and now Knighton in the 19.5, 19.4 range. I spoke about it before, but the consistency all of them have shown is creating an environment where you have no choice but to run fast. Sub 20 doesn't even really mean much when someone can run 19.7 and probably finish fourth at trials or even sixth at worlds. So in my opinion, I think Knighton, Curly, and Benerick are all capable of challenging Michael Johnson's 19.32 American record at the US trials this year. And you can even add Norman into the mix if he chooses to run. And of course, I'm excluding Lyles because he already has the world championship by, but if he does run the 200 at trials, he is definitely in the mix there too. Now, I'm not saying we'll see three or four guys all under the American record, but as individuals, they are all capable. But moving up to the world championship stage, now we introduce Lyles and DeGrasse as well. Regardless of the times they've been running so far in 2022, they have shown when it comes down to it, they will be in the mix for a medal and for fast time. I think since about 2017 and 2018, we've been looking at Lyles as the next great 200 meter runner to challenge Johnson's record. So he of course is in that conversation. And DeGrasse is Mr. Consistency. His gold medal in Tokyo showed that he can make the drop in time. So what's all this mean? Yes, Nayan, he has blown everyone out of the water running 19.49 in April as an 18 year old who is still getting faster. But let's not immediately anoint him the world champion and hand him the gold medal right now. He first needs to make the US team in the 200, then needs to put it together through the rounds in Eugene at the world championships. We have seen him do both last year, of course, made the Olympic team and made it through the rounds finishing fourth. But this individual performance shouldn't have us forget what everyone else is just as capable of. I think we can all agree though, 2022 is already looking up to be one of the greatest years for the 200 meters in history. So let me know what you think of Knighton's 200 meter performance and what do you think of his prospects as we get closer and closer to the world championships this year. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again next time. Thanks.